accused of piloting an attack, plotting it and then piloting, well, in this case, plotting an attack against New York City using homemade bombs, is expected to plead guilty today. The feds say Najibul Azazi drove from Colorado to, to, to New York last fall while armed with explosives he made from beauty supplies. Investigators say he planned to attack the city's transit system. The feds also say Najibul Azazi went to Pakistan to receive training from al-Qaeda before all of this. At the time, the Attorney General Eric Holder called the plot the most serious terrorism threat since the, in the United States since the attacks of 9-11. Our senior correspondent Eric Sean is live in the borough of Brooklyn today. Eric, what can we expect in court this afternoon? Well, Shepard Najibullah uh, Zazi is in court uh, right now here at Brooklyn Federal Court. We expect him to plead guilty to terror-related charges. We don't know exactly what the charges will be because that part of the case is sealed, but this much we do know. He is accused of being part of a plot to detonate those homemade bombs in the New York City subway system around last September 11th. They say Zazi, the uh, Afghan national, 24 years old, lived in the United States for 10 years, cooked up beauty supply chemicals in a motel stove in Aurora, Colorado, drove all night with that on September 9th, got here to New York last September 10th, was stopped in the George Washington Bridge on a traffic stop. They say that spooked him so much, he then dumped the chemicals down the toilet of a New York City apartment building uh, apartment where he was staying. He say he attended al-Qaeda training camps in Pakistan in 2008. He was charged along with two others. Shep, we are now waiting uh, for this hearing to conclude. Eric, any sense of the impact of this plea deal on national security? It really could be very important because it could, could give us a window into al-Qaeda, how it operates, how it recruits people to these training camps, who is there? Are there other Americans at these camps right now? Have others left and come into our country? Did he cooperate with other people out there in our country somewhere besides the four others who are also accused in this case? So we could get a glimpse into the inner workings, the modern inner workings of the al-Qaeda training system now because the threat clearly still exists. Eric Shaw live in New York City today.